When I came to new school, I didn't know any English, and uh, I, I can't play with people, because sometimes I do, but sometimes not. So I, I come to garden, and I can't speak English, so I come to garden and say to Sophia, can I do some job? And Sophia said, yeah, you can help me. I help with planting and watering. And when I like, when I know like, be English, and I get to understand more, and so Sophia gives me a, more jobs to do. Their roles are so important. Without those children, this project wouldn't exist, really, because they keep it ticking over. They maintain, they nurture the hens and the guinea pigs, they nurture the plants that are growing in the garden, and also they give me feedback on what's been happening when I'm not here. They mostly like it when you feed them with your hands. We grow tomatoes, strawberries, I just started this year, the gardening monitor, and it really inspires me to get a garden when I'm older. Also the sustainability teacher as well in the school. Most schools have one teacher that will commit themselves to sustainability and it's really important to have that connection with that person as well. I think the best tips I can give for a, a successful sustainable school would be to get an eco team together, divide the eco team into subgroups and Really it's about encouraging the children to come up with their own initiatives and once the children start coming up with ideas they're more enthusiastic to act on those ideas. Apart from achieving, you get rewarded for it, such as getting um, certificates from the United Nations and getting Green Hero Awards and meeting people and um, getting your point across successfully. We're thinking of getting two form reps um, for each form to like help us so that, like we can actually get the information around in our, in our forms and everything so everybody actually knows what's going on and like how to use the um, recycling bins for example. All the children that were chosen were children that wanted the, the responsibility. They came for an interview um, and said why they wanted the role and they're very committed, very attached to this project and will come every time I'm here, they'll come to help out. They also continue their work when I'm not here, which is like three days of the week. I joined the Green Team because I saw posters around the school saying um, um, about how we can save the earth. And go and went with my friend together. Then I really enjoyed this team. I joined the Green Team because it sounded like fun. There are about 20 members in the ECA committee and we meet once every two weeks. I think the most important thing that children learn from uh, working in the area of sustainability is working with each other. They're the ones that present the ideas, so they do the assemblies and they present uh, newsletters to the parents, they put letters in the notice board and they speak in their school council. So really it's coming from them and they're engaging pupils that way because they're getting all the children on board.